Hello, everybody. Okay. And let's see. I think this might be an appropriate backdrop. That is Shibuya Terminal. And that is the place that I used to go into and out of every single day almost for the last two years to get to and from work. Um, not only that, but hang out in this neighborhood that we call Shibuya, which is kind of like one of the trendiest parts of Tokyo. Definitely one of the busier parts of Tokyo. Um, you can see right there but uh, anyway this all of this right here this part with the with the weird shaped roofs that is uh, Tokyo Shibuya terminal for the uh, Toyoko line and this train is the train that goes back and forth between Shibuya and Yokohama and tomorrow it'll actually be stopping underneath this street um, and they've been spending years. I don't know if you could see all the planks and everything that they've used to make up the road But they've been spending years and a lot of money out of I'd imagine to build this whole uh, new subway station But first Why don't we go in actually this is a very this is a very uh, good day to do this the last day So that's why you see so many people out here right now taking the picture of this uh, train station because for Japanese people I oh, forget Japanese because I'm one of them right <laughs> not just Japanese but anybody here in Tokyo that's used this station it's kind of like an old friend right for 85 years people have been using this station and uh, it's actually going it's scheduled scheduled to be demolished um, later on this year in the summertime sometime they're gonna build like a huge skyscraper complex and they have to rebuild the JR station that's actually right next door and uh, let's see I don't know if you can see on the inside there right now but the train that's currently actually parked in there um, here let me zoom in a little bit let's see that train that's parked in there now is actually one of the subway trains from downstairs. They've been using it to test to make sure that the uh, Toyoko line is okay. I guess for um, for the to the uh, Tokyo Metro uh, subway train. So anyway, it's hard being a one man cameraman. By the way, I'm using my camera phone here. I've been out taking pictures all day uh, with my SLR and the batteries run down. So. Uh, the best camera is the one that you have that still has battery power, right? Anyway, let's uh, go inside. Let me focus first. Let's go inside and take a look. As you can see, there are tons of people taking pictures in here. And actually, I need to go in there eventually. <laughs> because I, I, I actually need to go home so, but I have to pass this throng of paparazzi oh, there, professionals are actually here uh, getting a shot of it and oh crap that's actually the train that I need to take that's a uh, limited express Actually, let's see if I can zoom in. Yep. Oh well. Anyway, uh, we go ahead here and like see if I can get a little shot of what's going on over there. This is nuts. I've never seen so many people on this bridge in my life. I mean, and it's Shibuya, so there's a lot of people, but. Really, I've never seen this many people taking a picture of trains. I thought I was the only idiot that does that. But apparently there's a lot of people that like trains in Japan. So, anyway. Uh, let's see if we can go inside and take a look at the actual terminal. And I'll show you exactly what I've been doing for the last two years. Alright. Um, yeah. As soon as I get around the paparazzi.
Okay. This is the uh, south entrance of the busy Shibuya Toyoko Line terminal. Um, and it's actually the south entrance. And this is pretty much actually the, the entrance and the exit that I usually use um, every day. Because the line, the next line that I have to transfer to is downstairs. So, but first, let's go into the old terminal. And, uh, let's see, I gotta find my PASMO right here. And then uh, we're gonna go in there. And I'll show you exactly how I do this. So first, find a open uh, kaisatsu, which is turnstile in Japanese. Use this right here. Oh, there we go. Fare is paid. Walk right on in, and then we check the board. And let me walk around all the people taking pictures here. Uh, this board right here tells me that the next train going to my house. See, they're all going to Motomachi Chuka guy right now, obviously, because that's the end of the line. Um, let's see. Let's see, local, express, local, commuter express. So 8.15, uh, whoops, sorry, 5.15, 6.15. Everything's in military time here. So, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's see if we can go upstairs and get some shots of... I don't know what's up there right now. Train platforms, as if you're, uh, wow, it's like really busy though. That's the only thing that I'm tripping off of right now. It's so busy. I don't know why everybody's looking at me like I'm the weird person though. I'm a tourist, sort of. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go that way. There's less people. Okay. Uh, I made it to the top of the platform here. Um, as you can expect, it's still rush hour here in Tokyo, and this is an actual working train station for the last day, so there are people trying to take their asses home. <laughs> um, and then there's also like people trying to uh, take pictures of this place. Me, I, don't, I didn't have to work today, so I'm just here doing this. Um, but let me show you guys around. Behind me, of course, is the old timetable. But I never needed to know this because trains here are pretty on time and they all have patterns. So once you know, once you know kind of like what train, what the pattern is, like every 15 minutes there's a, there's a, there's a special express. Every three or four minutes there's a local so on and so forth you don't worry about it all right anyway um this terminal is pretty famous for its roof actually let me see if i can get a shot of that this roof which outside is kind of arched the inside is made up of triangles and they're colored in these alternating patterns and i always thought that that was pretty cool um it reminds me of uh, Lambert St. Louis International Airport in my hometown in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, the architect who's famous for designing that um, kind of did a 60s, it, it's kind of like was a futuristic nod in the 60s to do that sort of architecture with the roofs and the geodesic dome with the triangles and stuff, kind of like Epcot Center and Disney World in Florida. This is the same thing. Remember, this place was built in uh, 1964. So, you uh, have a little bit of that style of architecture. So this is kind of like, especially for a place like Tokyo, which they like to tear down buildings quick once they get too old. This is kind of like the last surviving example of all that. Let's see. Alright, let me see if I can go to the front here. This is kind of a, uh, this is kind of exciting for me even, and I'm supposed to be the seasoned news guy. Hopefully you can hear my voice as I'm recording this, but uh, the Tokyo staff is 
trying they're trying to keep everybody safe but there's so many people here like taking pictures and you know in contrast to the people trying to get home it's crazy anyway um this station's also kind of famous landmark here is this huge destination board um at one time this was manual so they actually had a person in that office over there like pulling pulling a switch back in the day obviously we live in the computer age now so they don't have to do that so, and yep he just told me to get back so i did um let's see what else uh in there actually used to be the coffee shop that i would go to almost every day when i got off from work before i got on the train but it's closed, obviously. That sign there says uh, authorized entry only, right? So don't go in there. I'm not going in there. Um, and up there is actually the offices for the train station in the in the uh, terminal. I have never seen any that those curtains open actually, so this is probably a very special occasion. It's like a freaking madhouse in here though, so uh, at any rate, I'm gonna go outside and see if I can charge my battery up because my uh, SLR needs needs juice. Either that or I'll just steal somebody else's picture off the internet because I mean look how many people are taking pictures around here. taking pictures of what's inside, so, it's nuts, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think, like, will we have the same thing happen in, say, New York City, if a major train station, like, let's say, Times Square closed, or, uh, let's see, Penn Station, or one of those stations, if they ever closed, would it look like this? I'm not too sure. Pretty cool, actually. I mean, it kind of shows how something that's so ingrained in people's, you know, I mean, you know, people use this every day. It's like an appliance almost, but, you know, it's part of everybody's memories. So, also, is there going to be a ceremony? I don't know. I better ask somebody. I'll be right back. staff even the staff are taking pictures of all this because it's look at that it's nuts I think it's pretty cool though all right anyway um let me let me ask and see I'm, I'm supposed to ride maybe the second to last train I think the train at Hiyoshi is gonna be ridiculous we'll see